Hi there and welcome. This story is about my big white friend Husky Dyson. He just died, so yes, I'm digging a grave here. Does that make this a very sad story? No, I think it doesn't. Let's see for yourself. This dog's tale starts way, way back in the south of France, even before my big white friend was born. Once upon a time in the south of France, I met a dog. He was living his street life by stealing and begging from restaurant kitchens. By the time we met, he was about to be caught by the fire brigade and put down. So I put him on a leash and decided to rescue him. Or maybe he rescued me. It was a bit of a long shot because I didn't know his name, history or age. But his eyes told me, hey, nothing wrong with me. And he was right. We became best friends. I took him home to my country, the Netherlands, and I named him Lex. A few years later, I decided to take Lex for a walk, a long one, a seven months trip from my home to his home ground and back. I guess I walked about 3,000 kilometers, and by running around off leash, he must have done a multiple of that. He was my mate, my companion, my guard, and he was my support when the world was cold, nasty, and lonesome. He and I, we got home safely. Again a couple of years later, I decided to go on a boat trip, a long one, a year from the Netherlands to Greece and back. Lex and I, we knew nothing about sailing. But again, he was my mate, my companion and my guard, and we both turned into sea dogs. We got home safely. Where I wrote a book about it, sold my boat, and that was it, ready for a steady life. Dogs grow old, faster than we do. On the 5th of June, my daughter was born. Two days later, while I was sitting with her in my arms, Lex put his head on my knee, looked up at me, and then collapsed and died. I guess he thought it was the right time to go. That night, I buried him on that special hill and under that tree where we slept under the stars together for the first time. His rabies tag is still there, growing a little higher every year. So that was it, Lex was gone forever. Although, ever since that 7th of June, I call my daughter by her nickname, Pup, and I still do. So somehow, well, he is still sort of around. They say once a dog really got to your heart, there will never be enough space left for a new one. Are they right? No, they are not. On a very icy day in a dog shelter, we found him. A one-year-old white husky with a Polish passport. We took him for a short walk and he seemed to get along very well right away with our older husky Tara. Maybe this was a long shot, but his eyes told us otherwise. Absolutely nothing wrong with me. And he was so right. His name? Dyson. Yes, like the vacuum cleaner. We put him in our car and decided to rescue him. Or maybe he rescued me. Those first few weeks he was a sneaky one, wanting to escape every possible moment. But in a few months, he settled down and became a serious and respected member of the family. His life in a nutshell? Very smart and eager to learn. A digger? Always happy running around. Redder! Hey, redder! Redder! 
a playful dog, a jumper, and a follower. Come <laughs> back! He turned out to be a great bait to watch football with. And a talker. A very friendly dog for us and for total strangers. And a dog with a difficult relationship with water. Will he that well? Even when it was frozen. He was a great fellow traveler in small bus and in big bus. And in the end, we've always got home safely. Now, did this guy have his downsides? Yes, he did. He had a very strong prey drive. Cats, chickens, rabbits, birds, and even goose eggs weren't safe. Hey! And oh man, did he like to get dirty. Huh? And not wanting to get cleaned up again. <laughs> he had a very strong drive to escape, however high and strong I made the fence, especially when there was thunderstorms or fireworks. Then he escaped and went in hiding and it could take days before he showed up again. And then, well. His hair. It's all yours, dog. But with a look in his eyes, I couldn't help to forgive him right away. And from his perspective, all of this was nothing more than the usual husky stuff. Huskies don't like to be alone. So Dyson had three rescue husky playmates. Tara, our older lady husky that helped raising him. Asha, that was partly raised by him, and Nanook, an older male husky that was his mate for a short while. Dyson outlived them all. Why? I don't know. Maybe because Dyson and I bonded so well. He was my mate, my friend, my guard, and he was my support when the world was cold, nasty and lonesome. The last rescue playmate I got him is Siva. She's 12 years old now and she is still with me. Last April Dyson turned 14, which is pretty old for Aski. Okay, he was deaf, not so fast anymore, but still happy running around and being his wonderful self. By that time I was planning my dream. Selling my house, quitting my job, and preparing my bus to go on a trip again, together with my two dogs. A long one. Duration? Indefinitely. But dogs grow old, faster than we do. I wanted my great white friend so badly to be part of this trip, but Dyson said no. The months after he turned 14, things quickly went downhill for him. Dana! He tried, oh yes he did. But he was in pain. Good? Hey. Had trouble to lie down. Go down. Stayed in his crate for hours and got confused every now and then. Go down. Come on. The bottom Come line, off. my great white friend wasn't a happy dog anymore. I guess he thought it was about the right time to go. On his very last day, Dyson collapsed in the middle of the street. An epileptic seizure. There he was, my white friend, trembling on the black asphalt. So, my daughter and I took him to the vet 
for his very, very last shot. My great white friend died at the age of 14 and a half. It was a truly sad day. And on the way back, even Ziva was sad. <laughs> but after a few days, we were also starting to feel grateful for all those special moments during 13 years that this special dog had given us. It was more, far more, than we ever asked for. Okay, that's it. He's gone forever. From now on, yeah, it's just Siva and me. Although, eventually, yes, I did go on that trip in my bus. But that will be in another video. Meanwhile, in my tiny home on wheels, Dyson still seems to be present. First of all, his hair pops up on a daily basis. And if I try to clean it up and start a vacuum cleaner, I can still smell him! And at night, when the lights are low, I find myself talking to him. Are you okay, Dyson? And after a few drinks, I even imagine him talking back to me. I'm still around, boss. <laughs>